All right, Neil, here we are, done with the five-match road swing you guys had. You know, obviously not all the results you'd, you'd want to come out of this five-game road trip, but, you know, kind of looking back at it, you know, what did you learn? Well, I learned, you know, we, we can play with anybody. Um, you know, we played well in every game. We just uh, lacked in a few areas, made a few mistakes, and it cost us. Um, but ultimately, we have to score more goals, and we're creating... I mean, we're probably getting 15, 20 shots a game, and uh, some of them just have to go in. Now here we are, halfway point now of the conference schedule. We're talking about how just how short the season seems to be now. Getting ready to face that second half of the schedule, you've seen all these teams now. What are you going to try and learn now as you head into the second half? Well, I mean, we we went there, and you know, we didn't sit back and pack it in and and, and hope for a counterattack goal. I mean, we went there and played them. You know, we played them man to man. We played them all over the field, and now we get them at home. And so, hopefully, um, with a little bit more pressure, um, fans on our side. Um, hopefully, some of these teams are making some mistakes, and, and we can capitalize. We talked a little bit earlier about how you know, if, if you're going to have you know this rough patch of you know having the mistakes, how you'd rather have it now rather than later in the season. How do you remedy those mistakes now, heading into the back half of the yeah. season? I think a lot of the mistakes are coming from some of the younger players who aren't used to playing at this level, and it's just constantly reminding them in practice that they've got, you know, they're, they're doing the right things, they're just doing them nine out of ten times, and the one time they decide not to do it is we're getting punished for it, um, and, and I'm, I'm hoping that they realize from these results that that one mistake is costing us. Now you look at, you know, two big matches this weekend, Angelo State and Incarna Ward at home, you know, thought process heading into the weekend. I mean, both games were good the first time we played them. You know, we were fortunate to get the win at Angelo. It was a close 3-2 game. Um, you know, I, I think we probably edged it and we probably deserved it. And the Incarnate game, it was just probably our worst game of the season. Um, they're playing on turf. It was 100-something degrees. I mean, we can make all the excuses we want. We pretty much got outplayed by them. Um, and so we're really looking forward to that game as well. But both are going to be hard. They're both very winnable. Um, you know, but I talk to other coaches. You win two games in this conference, you go from last to second overnight. So um, the conference is so tight, you know, we're, we're really looking to get two wins this weekend.